Anyone who plays guitar or makes guitars is aware of the relationship between the string length, the tension in the string and the thickness of the string. Put simply, the thicker the string, the lower the pitch. The longer the string, the lower the pitch. The greater the tension, the higher the pitch. Less obvious is the effect of the headstock angle and the amount of string between the nut and the tuning head. The first thing I'm going to do is idealize this setup because this is just very tedious to draw. This is your right hand, this is your left hand, and this is 10 kilos pulling the string in a straight line. At the moment, there's no force against your left hand, which is effectively the nut in a guitar. If you imagine that the guitar is facing downwards, here's the bridge, here's the nut, and here's the tuning head. What you're now going to do is take your left hand and push it to the side here. And I think that if you imagine this, you can instinctively get the sense that there's now going to be a force pushing against your hand here. What you've now got is the neck of the guitar, the nut, but now the headstock is at some angle. Notice the tension in the string hasn't changed. It's still 10 kilos. What has changed is the amount of force that the string is applying to the nut here. The next stage is to move your hand all the way up so that it's parallel with your right hand. And I think it's easy to see now that the force on your left hand is 10 kilos downwards. The full load of the machine head is now being applied to the nut. But the tension in the string still hasn't changed. It's still 10 kilos pull strength. The only thing that's changed is how much force is being applied to the nut. There is a mathematical relationship between the pressure being applied to the nut and the angle of the headstock. It's actually the sign of the angle. Fortunately, we don't need to worry about the mathematics. We can just get a spreadsheet. This part here, you can imagine as being the neck and this extends off down to the bridge. This piece here is the headstock and this represents the downward force applied by the string and as you can see at zero degrees there is no downward force on the nut and this is the force on the nut as a percentage of the tension. So if I've got a 10 kilo pull force on the string at the moment 0% of that is being pushed into the nut. I'll increase the angle. I'll increase it to three degrees. You can see that there's now a slight downward force on the nut. It's actually 5% of the pull strength. So if this is 10 kilos, that's 500 grams now being pushed into the nut. We'll keep going. At six degrees, we have 10% of that pull strength appearing as downward force on the nut, in this case one kilo. At nine degrees it's just a bit over 15 percent and as we approach a fairly typical headstock angle 12 degrees it's just a bit over a fifth. So if we've got 10 kilos pull strength we've got two kilos pushing the string into the nut and I think for most people the most extreme headstock angle they're going to use will be somewhere around 15 degrees, 13 to 14 degrees is about as far as most people design their guitars. And here we've got over a quarter of that pull strength appearing as downward force in the nut. But I'm afraid that's all that happens. The tension in the string doesn't change. All that happens is the amount of force that the string applies on the nut goes up. And at the most extreme case of 90 degrees, 100% of that 10 kilos appears as downward force on the nut, which makes sense if you imagine the 10 kilo weight hanging down here, then this nut here has to support 10 kilos by pushing upwards. If you don't know anything about trigonometry, you'd imagine that since at 0 degrees here, 
there is no force on the nut and at 90 degrees all of the force appears on the nut you'd think that at 45 degrees half the force would appear on the nut but this is mathematics so actually the angle at which you get half that force appearing is 30 degrees as I said it's mathematics you can get a calculator and try that for yourself the sine of 30 degrees is 0.5 or 50 percent in reality all the headstock angle does is provide a relatively stable seat for the string in the nut if the angle is too shallow the string will simply pop out every time you try to play because there's nothing forcing the string into the nut and if the headstock angle is too extreme tuning is going to start grinding the string into the nut and for the wound strength that's going to start causing a significant amount of wear and so to reiterate the headstock angle does not affect the string tension if you look at this table this is the headstock angle in degrees 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 degrees and for every 3 degrees increase in the headstock angle that downward force increases by about 5% of the string tension 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 yes I know that isn't 15, 20, 25, 30 but it's 1% out in the next video I'll go through the effect of the string between the nut and the tuning head see you in the next video